guys, I am here with my mother, Glenda. It is not 1988. <laughs> However, in 1988, she took me, I don't know for how many weeks, uh -huh. to try to rent Beetlejuice, the original Beetlejuice, and our little um, small town video store, New World Video, had it many copies but they were always out so we got put on a waiting list for several weeks anyway we are out and about today this afternoon and we're going to go watch the new beetlejuice so we're going to come back and give you our review let's go. later later We are out at Arsley Gardens today on a different end of town because this one was the closest time to us finishing lunch. So we're going to head in for a 1.30 showing. to pick our seats. Mom wanted the end. So we're on D13 and D14. There, down there. I'm excited to see this. Julie did not care to see this. She has not seen the original one. This is what made me become a Tim Burton fan. So I am super excited to see this next Beetlejuice. Okay, we are back. We actually decided to come home and think about the movie on the way back because it was a little strange. Um, they decided to add a different plot on top of the normal plot of Beetlejuice. I don't know um, how I feel Sorry about that. We had to get Abra off the... <laughs> She's barking at the mail lady. Okay, what'd you think? Give it a grade. I, I wasn't impressed. Yeah, um... I think we agreed the music might have been the best part exactly. of the whole exactly. of the whole thing. Um, it was the same actors, directors. Uh, Danny Elfman did the music score like before, but um, spoiler alert: we found out that Beetlejuice has an ex-wife apparently yeah. that we didn't know about, and that made the movie a little bit too I'm long. Like, where'd that come from? It wasn't yeah. in the first one. <laughs> Mom was asking me. She's like, "Do you remember?" Am I misremembering the first movie? It's like, no. So um, I, I will say they did do a pretty good job of making the movie relevant with the older characters rather than bringing in, and I won't give that one away, but uh, bringing in new actors. They did use the old actors. Um, what, what Did you have a favorite part outside of the score, outside of the music? Not really. No. no. Really it was all just kind of yeah. average, wasn't it? I yeah, agree. It was. Did you have a least favorite part? No. So. I mean, it, it was just basic. It was. I yes, totally, totally. They tried to do the same stuff over again. Yeah. And I get it for nostalgic purposes, but it's like the sandworms we've seen a thousand times. Right. It goes back and forth between movie and claymation. So yeah, that's that's whatever. You're either a fan of that or you're not, I think. Um, there was a cameo by Danny DeVito. You know that was the cleaning guy? Did you yeah. Okay. But I think the worst part was <laughs> the ex-wife. We, we, yeah, I, I just didn't understand why she was sucking their souls out. Yeah, we, we meet her. To live, I guess. And they don't tell us <laughs> who it is. We have no clue who it is until no. later in the film. Just put herself back together. Just put herself back together, <laughs> literally, with a staple gun. So, I don't know. It was a little... 
I like Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice. Yeah. That I like that part, and I love Catherine O'Hara and, and Winona Ryder was good. But there was a lot of stuff that wasn't needed in this, and it made the right. movie run a little bit long. It did. Probably about 20 minutes you too kind long. We started getting bored with it. We did, yeah. We both got bored with it. So, grade. What would you grade it? A C. I think that's, yeah, I would grade it a C too. Solid C. Um, nothing that stood out. No. Nothing that really disappointed either. It's just kind of an average movie. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Kind of basic. Kind of basic. Yeah. So, overall, average film. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah, um, it was fun. It was fun, yes, but. but I don't know if I hadn't had such good memories of the first one when I was a kid. Right. I don't know that I would have liked this one at all. Yeah. Um, Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 78. I think that's a little high. Yeah. Ours is more around a 72-ish, yeah. maybe. But um, nothing I would go see again. No, I wouldn't, I, and, and I wouldn't um, pay to watch it again either no. after seeing no. it. So that's our take. Um, our first movie for Halloween for the Halloween season that we've seen in theaters. Tickets were eight dollars each uh, for an afternoon showing. And I think that's going to do it for us today. So thank you for watching. That's our hot take on Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> hey guys, bonus footage here. Let's get my microphone straightened out. So I was going to um, just stop in and kind of give you a little more of a deeper thought process on the movie. And then thank you for watching. Um, it was the first video that my mother has been in, but she... Um, really enjoyed being a part of it she was excited to go see the movie it was her idea i'd given her a full choice of, of movies she's been down here with us for a little over a week now and she said is there a comedy out and i said i think this is about the only one that's out right now you know it's spooky season you kind of get more of the thriller and the mysteries and um she said well let's go see beetlejuice because it was it was a t total time of our lives and I can't imagine her let's see at that time she would have been 36 so trying to run me around town to try to find the movie to rent try to find the toys to buy having to watch it on Saturday mornings when it came out as a cartoon uh, I was so enamored with with all of it at the time for a, a brief period and then uh, I think I said this maybe this morning, but afterwards, you know, Edward Scissorhand comes out and then Michael Keaton is Batman. And so I became a, a total, total Tim Burton devotee. I won't say I've loved everything that he's done, um, but a lot of things I, I love his artistic take on. And so we had much higher hopes than what we ended up having after seeing the film. And uh, Danny Elfman's music score was definitely the high point. He did a great job with that, as Danny always does. And uh, I think the directing was, was good, too. I did notice that Brad Pitt was an executive producer on this. And that Seth Graham <clears throat> Thomas, is that his name? The guy who wrote Abraham Lincoln, uh, Vampire Hunter, and... Um, what was the other one? Um, I can't love. I'm losing it. I can't remember. Um, but it had to do with zombies. He took one of Emily Bront's. Anyway, I think he was a writer on this. And I believe where... Um, Tim gave up a lot of writing control, it kind of fell flat. So there was enough of a plot with Winona Ryder's daughter, Jenna Ortega, to make the movie entertaining, and, and I would even argue probably more entertaining than what it ended up being when you added in the whole Beetlejuice having an ex-wife and us having to spend minutes and minutes and minutes of backtracking and showing backstory, and they tried to make it entertaining, they changed the language into Spanish and showed it in black and white. So while the artistic take was um, interesting, 
I don't think it was enough of a, enough of a hook to really uh, make people buy in. And that's just my take on it. But I do think the 78 on the uh, tomato meter is a little generous. I think a 72 is more around what to expect. And um, if you could find it out as a watch now for cheaper than what a movie ticket is, I would totally tell you to do that because there's nothing visual that you need to see from the theater perspective. It can all be seen um, at home on the television if you are interested enough. Otherwise, it'll probably come out onto Max in um, a few weeks, quite honestly. Uh, but there are several showings right now in all the theaters around Charlotte. So they're trying to do the advertising and the advertising for the pre-movies um, even were uh, scattered with Beetlejuice, uh, we'll say nods throughout from the movie before the movie started. So uh, that was a little entertaining, but again, just kind of fell flat for us. Um, anyway, that's a little bit more of an in-depth take from me. Thank you again, guys, for watching. I know we do these movie reviews kind of as soon as we get out, and I thought this one was interesting enough, having Mom involved, that uh, we would get on camera and see see what she thought. So, anyway, thank you again. You guys have a good night, a good day. We'll see you again very soon.